Hi, this is Carol from Titra. Today, I would like to take this opportunity to elaborate more about the renewable energy industry here in Taiwan, and it will include about the industrial development and also the government policy as well. Furthermore, I will give you a brief introduction about Energy Taiwan, the only renewable energy trade shows here, which can help you to seize the business opportunity. No matter you want to go into this market or trying to find a partner you want to cooperate with in the future. So how's the renewable energy development here in Taiwan? Taiwan is a small island with a central mountain range covering two-thirds of the total area and also lacks of resources to generate electricity. According to Bureau of Energy, in 2021, Taiwan imported almost 97% of its total energy supply. Therefore, it is really important to stop relying on importing fossil fuels and be independent on the energy supply. The development of renewable energy in Taiwan has gone through many phases and the government making policy according to some geographical advantages here in Taiwan. So the first one is that according to 4C Offshore, 16 of the world's 20 most ideal wind sites are located in the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan's offshore wind power has significant potential, which many major developers have worked hard on it. And Taiwan also has high solar irradiance, which is good for generating solar power. Last summer, solar PV power generations in the country peaked at 2.3 gigawatts, surpassing any of Taiwan's nuclear power plants due to the hot weather. So it is a really good environment to develop PV industry, which leads Taiwan become the second largest PV cell manufacturer. Besides, as tech giants go green, suppliers must step up to their game. Taiwan is closely connected with the global manufacturing supply chain. So tech giants such as Google or Apple have joined RE100 and they make commitments to consume only renewable energy during their production. So their suppliers, such as those in Taiwan, have to use green energy during the production, which leads to the booming needs of the green energy recently. By 2025, the power generated by nuclear should be decreased to 0% here in Taiwan, and renewable energy should be taken up to 20%. In order to achieve this goal, Taiwan government has made some changes regarding to the policy. The government has announced a new target of 11.25 gigawatts in cumulative install capacities for 2022. Various ministries and agencies will be working together to take inventory of the available land or space that can be used for the installations of PV systems. Places that are under consideration include roof of agriculture, manufacturing, and public facilities. There are also initiatives to install PV systems above the fish ponds, which is called the aquaphotics. Aquaphotics are will be built above major harbors and on the lands that are heavily polluted. So as for the offshore wind energy, the capacities of the wind farm is projected to reach 5.7 gigawatt by 2025, accounting for 8.4% of domestic renewable energy. The overall project will bring investments of over 1 trillion NT dollars as well as 20,000 new jobs are to expected. While Taiwan is fulfilling the 2025 targets on schedule, and now we are planning for the next 10-year stage until 2035. Taiwan Ministries of Economy Affairs have planned a new target to develop further 10 gigawatts of offshore wind capacities between 2026 to 2035. The energy plan is expected in the short term to solidify the industry foundations, so these efforts will promote energy diversification and self-sufficiency, spur domestic demands and job growth, and create a friendly environment for the overall energy development. And now I will briefly introduce about the PV supply chain here in Taiwan. Taiwan's PV industry from upstream to downstream of the supply chain is divided into five major aspects. So in the past, the silicon cell manufacturing was one of the Taiwan's major competitive advantages, and the market share was rapidly expanded via the boundary of module. So in the recent year, with the rapid rate of solar production capacities of mainland China, the Taiwanese companies have extended their business model to include the downstream module assembly. So such changes have resulted in a close alliance between the batteries and module manufacturers here in Taiwan, which allows them to quickly extend their business op uh, operations coverage to the fields of domestic and foreign system establishment projects. And Taiwan is now actively pursuing the development of high potential offshore wind power sites. So in January 2018, the Industrial Development Bureau has issued the offshore wind power guideline. 
The goal is expected to drive the development of local procurement market for certain components and creating the market demand for green energy. This goal is challenging, but with the right quality and competitive cost levels, Taiwan can meet its policy objective to become an Asian offshore wind hub for the Asian Pacific. So, so far, Taiwan has many excellent local suppliers working with developers. We expect more cooperation to come in the near future. So the complete offshore industry lays a good ground for Taiwan to achieve supply chain localization and reduce costs for the developers. So from the figure here, you can see that every part of the wind turbine can find a local supplier to complete your project. So how do we go into the Taiwan renewable energy market? So let me present you that Ta Energy Taiwan is a comprehensive show in renewable energy industry. It focuses on five energy themes, PV power, wind energy, smart storage, small-scale renewable energy, and net zero, to offer numerous business opportunities. From manufacturing to service with energy integrations, we believe that Energy Taiwan will give industrial insiders a better platform for networking. So meanwhile, Energy Taiwan attracts the most influential and important buyers. We offer a variety of advising and promotional opportunities to help industrial professionals to maximize your business opportunities and find the decision makers. So from this slide, you can see that the main exhibiting products from these four theme pavilions, which are PV, wind, wind energy, emerging power, and smart storage. And net zero has become a hot issue recently. Many countries have proposed net zero emission commitments, which aim to reduce or stop carbon emissions through various sectors. It has had a great impact on Taiwan's manufacturing industry as well. So meanwhile, Energy Taiwan has seized the train and launched the net zero Taiwan this year to provide a one-stop solution for enterprises to look for answers to adopting net zero in their manufacturing process. So many countries with great achievement in developing the renewable energy have joined Energy Taiwan as country pavilion this year, such as Denmark, Finland, Sweden, Belgium, Germany and UK all gather their key industrial players to show their advancements in the renewable energy sectors. So in 2021, Energy Taiwan attracted 200 exhibitors using more than 700 booths to promote their products and over 15,000 visitors to find business opportunities here in this show. Compared to 2020, 14% growth in the attendance number. Exhibiting companies have increased year by year. So as the most important platform for renewable energy industry here in Taiwan, abundance media exposure has guaranteed the effectiveness for your marketing. So the presidents of Taiwan have shown her support in the industry as well, with other high-level government representatives. We are confident that Energy Taiwan is aligned with the government policy and also the industrial trend. So how to attend 2022 Energy Taiwan? 2022 Energy Taiwan will be hosted from 19th to 21st October at Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center Hall 1. So with the last year's success this year, we are having more than 1,000 booths to showcase the latest technologies in the renewable energy. So if you wish to obtain the incentive as buyers, we offer incentives for flight tickets or accommodations for all those qualified buyers. So if you need more information, please contact our overseas office. You can scan the QR code on the slide to find your ne nearest Taitra office. So if you have any question related to the Energy Taiwan, please feel free to contact me through the contact info on the slide. And I hope to see you soon this October. Thank you so much.